What's up guys, Jmov from Jmov Pickup. Today I wanna to talk about hygiene and the way you are presenting yourself to these girls, okay? I've had lots of clients over the past decade, um, lots of uh, friends in the pickup community, even guys that aren't in the pickup community. A lot of guys are just missing a lot of these basic things, okay? Some of these are gonna be common sense, some of these are gonna be no-brainers that you are already habitually doing, but there's gonna be a bunch of these that I'm sure you'll learn something new or learn how you should adjust how you are normally handling this area in order to make it proper and, and uh, presentable to a, a hot chick, okay? So I kind of grouped these into categories here. I made a list. The first thing is dealing with smells, okay? Uh, getting rid of the bad smells and introducing some good smells. Okay, so it starts off with showering daily, okay? If you're already doing that, great, continue to do it. A lot of guys that have come to me for training um, just are not, are not showering on a regular basis. It makes a huge difference because you're going to de be developing odors on your body if you're not showering. Your hair is going to look dirty, etc., etc. There's not much more to say about that. Just make sure you're showering daily. The next thing you should do is get in the habit of putting on deodorant right after you get out of the shower. Okay, and wear deodorant that's going to last throughout the day, even if you happen to be sweating or um, engaging in, you know, some kind of moderate activity. If you go to the gym, shower again after the gym, okay? If you do any kind of physical exertion or, or otherwise are or, or sweating for some reason, maybe you were nervous because you had a presentation or whatever, you're going to want to shower again before you like go out to the club or before you go on a date or something like that, okay? If you haven't sweated a particular amount, you know, or otherwise became uh, an unclean state, <laughs> if you will, then you don't need to shower before you go on a date or before you go out to the club. Uh, the next thing is brush your teeth. See, there's a lot of this common sense, but there's, I'm going to move, moving into some things that are going to be novel to you guys. Brush your teeth, uh, preferably morning and evening, but at least before bed. Um, and you also need to be flossing. So you should be flossing in the morning and the evening and midday if you can as well. So think of like if you had food in a sink, right? Like food was collecting around the drain and it was just kind of lingering there. The food starts to smell right? It's just kind of lingering around. So think of your mouth like that. And when you're not flossing and getting rid of that food in between your teeth, the bacteria are causing these odors. So you're going to basically have like the, this unpleasant smell. Okay. That's an issue. If you're talking to girls at a club, it's an issue. If you're on a date, it's an issue. If you're going to kiss a girl on a date or at the club, it's even an issue if you're talking to like your guy friends or you're at work, whatever, like you just don't want to be that guy that has the, the bad breath and no one ever says anything. Okay. A lot of that comes from flossing. Um, to go hand in hand with that, you want to be brushing your tongue. Okay. Cause your tongue builds up bacteria and can be a source of odor as well. Um, okay. So brush teeth, floss, brush tongue, and then get like a Listerine or something like that, like a total care mouthwash. And so you're gonna to want to floss, then brush, and then do the mouthwash, okay, in the morning and before bed. And these are just generally healthy habits. I think it, I read a statistic that um, people that don't floss die five years sooner on average because a lot of bacteria is coming into your mouth. Then to introduce a good smell, you should be wearing uh, cologne. Let me see the one I'm wearing currently. David Be David Beckham, classic. I'll put links to, to what the stuff I'm using personally in the video description. Um, I used to wear uh, Nautica Voyage. Um, what else? Um, Euphoria by Calvin Klein is another good one. Just ask a hot chick to come with you and, and help pick out one that smells good. Okay. Um, as for smells like in your, your, your bathroom and your, house in general and stuff like that if you don't feel like uh keeping your house clean on a regular basis or washing your toilet and shit like that because there's like piss that can like spatter around and fucking shit that can dry all this other gross shit if you're not regularly maintaining that hire a maid okay you can find maids typically uh for under a hundred dollars for a whole cleaning session they'll spend four or five hours once a week or every other week to like my maid um, irons all my clothes. She spends like an hour just ironing all my shirts. So that way I don't have wrinkled shirts. Um, 
which also girls will notice that when you're on a date or the nightclub or whatever, just people in general, people will respect you less when your clothing is just a wrinkled mess. Um, and the maid will clean the bathroom, she'll mop the floors, um, make sure everything is all tidy. So do that if you don't have the inclination or the time or the effort that you want to put forth to, to keep your house clean. But smells will accumulate. If you're not regularly taking out your trash, you're going to have smells. You're going to get fruit flies from old garbage. Um, this, a lot of this sounds like common sense, but you'd be surprised. A lot of guys aren't doing this shit. So what's going to happen? The chick's going to come over. She's going to see a messy house or shit that smells like garbage. It's going to make her uh, lower her opinion of you and lose respect for you. Bathroom, it's messy. There's fucking spots all over the mirror from toothpaste spray and shit like that. The bathroom, the toilet is disgusting. You know, she's going to look at you in a different way. You want to keep all this relates to kind of having like a, a polished, like fresh thing. These are, these are small things. If you're not doing any of these things, make sure you start doing them. Um, okay. That's it for, <laughs> for smells. Um, okay. Your hair, make sure your, your hair isn't like all like unkempt, like a wild bunch of shit going on. Have like some sort of a clean cut look. Um, unless you have like long hair and that works for you again, make sure you don't have to change this for the chicks, but in general, you want something that hot chicks are going to respond to. If it's, if it's some crazy style and everyone thinks it's weird or, or stupid, then you should probably change it. <laughs> um, your beard, if you have a beard, if you clean shave, that's fine. Um, but just don't let like a whole bunch of like scraggle grow out. Like if you don't keep your beard trimmed to a certain length or you don't clean shave, you're going to have like a whole bunch of hairs, like growing to different lengths and starting to curve and do other weird shit. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You see guys that don't take care of their facial hair. Contrast that to uh, guys in the top 100 maximum sexiest where they have the five o'clock shadow that's all trimmed. They have, you know, their sideburns are accented properly. They have um, clean cut haircuts. Okay. Um, so make sure you're not just letting your, your beard or your hair grow out of control. If you do have facial hair, keep it trimmed to a certain length, um, whichever length you prefer. Uh, nose hair. You can get an ear, nose, and eyebrow trimmer for like five bucks. I'll put a link. Um, you can get that at, at like a CVS or Rite Aid in, in the States or just any kind of, um, you know, mini market in the other parts of the world, or you can buy it on Amazon. So you're going to use that to uh, clear straight nose hairs because nose hair can start to grow out of your nostrils. You've probably seen it even on chicks before, and it, it can be like a huge turnoff. If nose hair is like making its way out of your nose <laughs> past your nostrils and just kind of hanging there, it's, that can be uh, unattractive. And what you can do is you can take tweezers also, grab the particular nose hair and yank that out. Um, stray hairs on the face, same thing with tweezers. Like I get, I'll get like the occasional hair that'll grow out like outside of my beard. Um, and if I let it go unattended for weeks, it starts to get like kind of long. So you kind of want to look in the mirror, like when there's sunlight, if possible, because it'll allow you to see like those fine hairs, like some of the hairs are like blonde or, or whatever. And it's hard to see them without a lot of light, or you can blast, um, a whole bunch of indoor light in the bathroom and just look for those stray hairs and just use tweezers to just pluck them out. Otherwise you're going to have these random stray, stray hairs growing. It can even happen like on different parts of your neck or wherever. Um, and around your eyebrows or in the middle, you can start to grow like a unibrow, just pluck those hairs. Um, for your eyebrows, like any hair that's kind of like going too long, and making its way across a whole bunch of other hairs on the eyebrow. <laughs> Basically like any like straggler hairs, you want to pluck those. Um, you can also ask when you get your hair cut for them to kind of clean up your eyebrows a little bit and they'll run a comb and shorten things so that your eyebrows aren't growing out of control. Okay. This is a, this next one is a big one. Um, your pubic hair, which is the hair that grows above your dick. <laughs> what you want to do is, um, I recommend just using an electric razor. Um, so again, I'll put links to this stuff. Basically you're going to use the razor and shave all the, I recommend just clean shaving all the hair 
off down there. I do it like maybe once a week. You don't want to let that grow out of control, okay? Especially if chicks giving you a blowjob. The problem is, is the hair collects sweat and that sweat can smell. And it's also just unpleasant for a girl to have a fucking mess of pubes in her face. <laughs> Right, like you don't want to lick a girl's pussy if she has like a bush, especially if it's like out of control. The same applies uh, for guys, and a lot of you probably have never considered this or tried it, or maybe you have. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the statistics are about what percentage of guys shave their pubic hair, but basically use a, a regular electronic razor to get rid of all the hair above your dick, and then here's a little trade secret. You're gonna want to use. <laughs> Preferably a, a separate ear, nose, and eyebrow trimmer, or you can reuse the same one. <laughs> but you, you probably don't want the, the one that you're using on your face to be used on your pubes. But what you're going to use that for is uh, trimming the hair around your dick, like at the base of your dick, hair that grows on your dick, and your balls, your testicles. Like This is a, a big key because if you try to <laughs> uh, shave your balls with... Uh, electric razor it's gonna like mulch them up it's gonna like cause cuts and you're gonna bleed and it's it's un uncomfortable and it's gonna leave razor burn the ear nose and eyebrow trimmer is very gentle and it can just kind of glide over the <laughs> the scrotal sack and uh, clean those hairs up so and you can get like under the balls with the with the ear nose and eyebrow trimmer it's kind of like for all the fine details I just use the electric razor for um, above the dick, all the hair around there. And I, I'll even like trim like the top, like insides of my legs. Like I keep that whole area like kind of hair free because you don't want sweat uh, building up near your dick and causing it to smell when a girl's uh, giving you head. Um, or just in general. <laughs> um, I guess tying into the smell one is kind of gross. So I just thought of this. When you take a shit, make sure you are wiping properly because. If shit is accumulating or, dry, or dried shit, that can cause an odor as well. <laughs> Stuff your mom didn't tell you. Um, yeah, so the pubic hair, basically you wanna like make it all like fully clean. So you're doing electric razor on the top, then you're doing the, the shaft and the balls and all around the balls um, with the ear, nose and eyebrow trimmer. So there should be no hair anywhere around there. Um, okay, into the clothes category. Iron your clothes or pay a, pay your maid to do it um, or have your fuck buddy or somebody do it. But it's important to wear wrinkle-free clothes. Um, another big mistake guys are making is they're wearing clothes that don't fit them. So make sure you're wearing um, clothes that have kind of like a snug fit. Like this is one of the shirts that I had picked out by a professional stylist when I was redoing my, my whole wardrobe about a month ago. Um, she took me to the mall for four hours and we, we tried a bunch of shit and picked stuff that like fit well. So as you can see, this is like kind of, it's not form fitting or like tight, but it's, it fits the curves of my body or should, however you want to say it. Like certain clothes just fit you better, right? You shouldn't have jeans that are just like super baggy. Like when I was in high school and even into early college, I was wearing just like super, super baggy jeans. Girls don't find stuff that attractive. They also don't find like super, um, super tight jeans um, that are hugging your legs. They don't find that super attractive either. That looks more like hipster or, or like a, a homosexual, for instance, <laughs> might wear. Um, so you wanna find like a nice, nice balance. You don't wanna wear pants that are too short on you, that are too long on you. The best way to do it is to, to go with a stylist or go with a hot chick um, and just have her you know, tell you which pants look best, which, and you should have an approximate idea of what the measurements are for the pants that you wear and the shirts that you wear, but have the girls um, give their input into should it be more tight, more form fitting, more baggy, etc., longer, shorter. Um, you can also have measurements done. If you go to more high end clothing places, they can measure you and they can direct you and give advice on uh, what size you should be wearing. And for guys that are like tall, like myself, like I'm six foot four, 193 centimeters, I have more of a, you know, like a, a long kind of narrow frame. And there's these particular kinds of shirts, they call it like slim fit. So if you're, 
at like Express or you're at um, H&M or something like this, or even these higher end stores, you can usually find a shirt that's uh, slim fit. And what that is, it kind of like tapers it in around the torso so that it's fitting you without being too tight and, without, and it doesn't have like that bagginess going on, right? So, same with if you're wearing like a suit, like a custom tailored suit, that's gonna fit to your body measurements, okay? And it's gonna look much better. So don't just buy whatever and, and throw it on. Um, and yeah, if you have the money, I, I highly recommend um, going with a stylist to the mall, someone that is a professional on different looks. She'll find a custom look that fits you. Like she'll show you a bunch of stuff in a magazine and you can, there'll be different varieties of style that she thinks are good, that she thinks are attractive on a man. And then you guys will discuss which ones will work for you, which ones you like, because you have to be able to live with it as well. And then you'll end up getting a whole bunch of new clothes that fit you well. I, I bought a bunch of new shoes with this woman, new pants, new shirts, um, different styles, different accessories. Um, I have this as a point to have, have the stylist or a hot girl help you pick out some accessories. Okay, whether that be a watch, some bracelets, um, you know, different kind of sunglasses, different kind of shoes, right? Like I have, I bought these like almost like military rocker type boots that I can wear with like a shirt that's got some rips, you know, like the tattered, tattered look and some ripped jeans and these like military boots. It's more of like a modern kind of hip outfit for going out and, you know, playing pool or some shit like that. Okay. Um, nails, keep your toenails and your um, fingernails trimmed. Girls will notice that shit as well. Keep your fingernails, don't, you know, it takes, that's one of the ones that doesn't barely takes any time and guys will just let it go and let it go and let it go. You can get dirt and other shit accumulating under your nails as well. Um, just buy yourself a toenail clipper and just fucking trim that shit. I've been guilty of letting this one go for too long. Like you can fucking scratch chicks in the bedroom during sex with your long toenails and it's like fucking talons once they've gotten past a certain length. Um, and also like if, if you're in a, a warm climate and you're wearing things like flip flops, girls will notice the long toenails in the flip flops, not just in the bedroom when your shoes and socks come off. So keep your uh, fingernails and toenails trimmed. Um, for your sheets, make sure you're washing your sheets regularly. Those can accumulate smells as well, um, especially as sweat builds up in the in the pillowcases. Actually, even more than weekly, probably twice a week if you can, because you're getting a lot of oils from your face and from your hair into your pillowcase, and then that's touching the rest of your facial skin, and that can cause pimples. Um, and you should get a good facial cleanser as well that doesn't dry out your skin. Um, let's see. Other than that, I hope this was helpful. This is going to be under 20 minutes, hopefully. Uh, keep the place smelling nice. You can buy these odor beads to kind of soak up the odors. Um, keep, or you can get like those airwick things that are spraying scents. Keep like a nice scent in the bathroom and a nice scent in the kitchen, nice scent in the, the living space. Girls just appreciate that shit. You can even get the, the scented candles, the tea light candles. Those are really cheap. You light a scented candle before the girl comes over. Contrast having, uh, putting it all together here, contrast like a girl comes over, even a fuck buddy, whatever, she comes over for a date and you have a clean house with nice fragrances, your beard is trimmed, your haircut is sharp, you don't have any stray hairs on your face, you smell nice because you're wearing deodorant and cologne, okay, because you showered that day. Um, when she takes your pants off, you have nice trim, clean pubic hair, you're wearing iron clothes. Um, she goes in the bathroom and there's not fucking shit and piss <laughs> splattered all over. Um, what else? You don't have nose hairs hanging out, your eyebrow hairs hanging out. Uh, your clothes are fitting you nicely. Um, you know, you just have this whole polished image. Your, your space around your house and, and with your body is just all polished, okay? That would go a long way. So put questions um, in the comments here. And hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you're already doing a lot of this. If not, uh, rewatch the video and add in the things into your daily routine that you are missing. Okay. And if you need any recommendations for 
stylist or anything like that, uh, epdatingcoach at gmail.com or ask in the comments and I will put the links up to the different products that I am using. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.